morning guys welcome back to a new vlog you guys seem to have been enjoying my daily vlogs where it's more of like a come shopping with me full day with me and today you get a full day with me so i'm here with the family mama Sham, and my brother is in the front i will introduce him later if you don't already know him but i'm sure you all do so today we are heading to london stansted airport as you guys know i travel a lot i fly from stansted a lot today i'm not actually flying from anywhere but we are heading into the airport to go shopping how amazing my mum was saying she's always wanted to actually have the time to go shopping in an airport so we're very excited so i'm gonna take you guys with me shopping and the nice guys at london stansted basically sent me a few challenges for a few trips i have coming up and i'm gonna take you with me as we choose the items for these trips hopefully it's going to give you loads of inspo it might even make you want to book an impromptu trip where you basically just turn up at the airport with an empty bag and then just buy everything from the airport i've always wanted to do that and you can do that in london stansted so let's go shopping guys oh, let's go So we are in the airport, gone through security, all sorted. The first challenge and the first thing I'm going to go and shop for is a European health and fitness retreat. If you guys follow my blog or watch my vlogs, you'll know I'm massively into my health and fitness. And if you have me on Twitter, you'll know all I ever tweet is talking about how I want to go and do a health and fitness retreat somewhere. And obviously you can fly to loads of places like that from London Stansted. So I'm going to go and choose some stuff that I would pack if I was doing a health and fitness retreat. Basically, lots of nice things. I could do with some headphones, I don't know. So let's just go and have a shop around and see what I can find. Also guys, comment below if you can actually recommend a nice European health and fitness retreat. I'm thinking somewhere where I can have like healthy breakfast, do runners in the morning, yoga by the beach, maybe a HIIT workout. That's like my dream trip to do. So I'm excited to be shopping for it today. So my brother actually always recommends that I get headphones, don't you? You are always teaching me yeah. about technology. I know we actually have these ones at home. Yeah, we do. Oh my god, bang and all set. We can watch them actually. We're in Dixon's <laughs> actually, and fun fact, Dixon's is Adam's favourite shop. You it's my favourite airport shop. Actually. Yeah. Do you know what the amount of times I've come to an airport, forgotten my memory card, and had to come into Dixon's and buy one or a charger? It is the best place to come in an airport. I always buy my um, adapters as well from here yeah. because I never. Remember, I have about 100 adapters in my house and I think they get eaten. So we're going to pick up some headphones to take on a health and fitness retreat with us. And in true me style, I've already found the ones I want. Adam actually did some research and recommended these and apparently these are amazing. So it's Bang & Olsen and they are truly wireless. E8 2.0, oh my god. They are so Instagrammable, but good for technology as well, aren't they? Yeah. This is what Adam does, he's like best salesman pitch. What wireless ones, which is fine. Yeah, wireless ones said that when I'm on the beach doing my yoga. So one thing, the worst thing is getting on a flight when you don't have your own headphones. And it was actually Adam that taught me this. I used to always use the headphones that I got on the plane and then we got some really good noise cameras ones so it's really good if you get to an airport and you cut your headphones we have these we actually did share them for a while then i got out of some different ones um so yeah definitely gonna pick up those nice little things oh also should we look at some watches and let's show you a consumer stream because i have an apple watch that i rarely use that would actually be perfect for a fitness retreat and look at all of these straps i care more about the straps than the actual watch it's made me want to get my Apple Watch back out also to put all of these charging cables. If you XL got charging cables now, so good for when you're like laid in bed and you want to tap. Look at all the options. Let's go look at the Fitbits actually because mum has one for the water. So I actually have a Fitbit at home. Again, I need to use it more because I got really into the rhythm of using it. And my whole family uses Fitbits. It's really good to like track your sleep, track how many steps you've done, just track everything. And if you are going on a European fitness holiday, I would definitely recommend getting one. Apple Watch or Fitbit? That is the question. Comment below which would you prefer. The Apple Watch hooked up to your iPhone, so for me, I think that's really easy. But then my whole family uses Fitbits, and I like that like we all have a Fitbit. But it's so good if you're like on a run in the morning on holiday, you can just track it on your arm. Another place where you can get adapters. Boots. If it's not Dixon's, it's boots. I always need adapters. I don't know where they all go. $6.50. I'll take four, please. So I think obviously going away with my favourite things to do is come to the airport and buy beauty products. 
absolutely love it. They actually have my favourite cleanser, cleanse and polish by Lizzo. It's also a lot cheaper, but also you don't actually need to bring toiletries with you because you can just buy them in the airport. For me, when I do eventually go on my health and fitness retreat, I want it to be really kind of pampering as well, have a lot of me time. So I will definitely be buying face masks and like just nice pamper things. I actually moisturise a lot more when I'm on holiday. Does anyone else do that? Oh, sun cream for a nice hot little grey. If you guys watched my Miami vlog, you'll know I love La Roche Posay. They do such good sun creams. And back to 50. We're going into rituals now because apparently they do yoga kit. Did not know this. I'm very excited. You guys know I love my yoga and I love my gym kit. And I always use them for beauty products, but they do yoga kit as well. So perfect for a health and fitness retreat. Let's go. So I always use Rituals beauty products. They do like amazing dry oil and stuff, which is amazing when you're abroad, kind of when you've been in the sun and your skin is so dry. So I always buy that stuff when I'm in the airport. But look, they do yoga stuff. I don't know. Is this new? Because this is very exciting. It smells so nice. So yeah, they might be yoga kit. This is amazing. So I really can just book a health and fitness retreat the night before and then turn up on the stand set and be like, yoga kit, check. Beauty stuff, check. Deodorant, check. I love these, look how nice a colour. Oh my gosh, I love this colour. How nice are these? You could definitely just get on a plane in these and be super comfy as well if you were going to say like a long trip to Dubai. This is so nice. I love the pattern. I want everything. And it all the colours work really well. I love this top with these bottoms. They're so nice. This is a lounge suit for pampering. Also, guys, how me is this top? I love this. You could definitely wear this to yoga in the morning, then to a nice big brunch, and then you could even wear it around the beach in the day. That is so nice. I always take a sleep mask on the plane with me, and this is such a cute one. How nice is that? I'm loving this gym kit so much. We're on the theme of sports and fitness and well-being, so I couldn't not come into Lacoste. If Matt was here, he would definitely want these swim shorts. Well, he's not here, so you can't have them. But I really like the cost. They do like nice caps and stuff, swim shorts, and then for girls. Everything's really nice and vibrant. They've got all of these kind of polo. I also absolutely love these like polo dresses. You know, like on the beach, or if you're kind of playing tennis, maybe I'll have a tennis retreat. Colors are so nice in here. Look at that, I'm checking out the swim shorts. You want the swim shorts? They're really nice. I love this. Yeah. Oh, the thing I see, Matt's not here, and then I'm still gonna end up spending my money on my brother. What can you do? They also do really nice sliders in here as well. Matt always buys sliders from the airport. Adam getting really excited because yes. we found some Lacoste golf balls. Oh, I can't get them on. But. This video should just be titled Take Your Brother Shopping <laughs> With You and let him get really excited over golf balls. How cute are these though? Yeah. Like a little tennis dress. I love that. I love it. And then look at the sliders over here. You know you want some of these sliders. I think these are uni sacks. These are so cute. I love them. White black ones. Yeah, yeah, you see, I would definitely go for the white ones. Uh, They're really not expensive at all either. How nice. Mama Shell is here and she's excited <laughs> because we just walked past James Martin Kitchen. My mum is fanning. <laughs> but yeah, where are we going now? <laughs> the name's super dry actually. I very much like super dry for active wear and clothes, although we don't need clothes. So we're going to choose some active wear. I'm definitely my client from London Stunstead in future. Purely so she can eat shops here. I'm <laughs> purely so she can eat at James Martin. We're not eating just yet though, shopping food. No, no, no. Shopping. First. But she, I'm trying to drag her away from like, <laughs> see, we're in London and she's like, I found a Yorkshire kitchen, yay. As Yorkshire people. I'm going to try on one of these jumpers because I think when I go to the gym, I always love putting my leggings and a jumper on. Definitely. And I love a slogan jumper. Which one do you think I love? Oh my gosh, look at this one. That one's really nice. I think it might be a bit warm though. I like a print. It's just nice and like hand britten, isn't it? It dries a shop that I forget about. I got some of their gym wax by a while ago. It's such good quality. And everyone was like, where's that from? It's from Super Dry and you would never realise. You know I can't. Say your name on my phone, yeah. You only call when you want it. Baby, gotta be honest. 
I know my body never known better It's like an upgrade of business You mess me up and I miss it We keep dancing with the devil but he's never gonna let go so next up, you guys know I go to Paris quite often. I love Paris, it's actually one of my favorite places. So quick and easy to get to as well. So they've challenged me to organize my wardrobe for a trip to Paris. Fine, because I'm very lucky that I go to Paris quite a lot. So I'm gonna start with Ted Baker. If you guys watch any of my Christmas videos, you'll know Ted Baker was, is one of my current favorite stores. So I'm excited to go in there and have a look at what they've got for a little trip to Paris. I love that you can just come into the airport with an empty suitcase, go into somewhere like Ted Baker and just fill it up and then just get going on your trip. I think it's so good and London Sunset honestly me and my mum are so excited there's so many options here and it's all nice and compact which I like sometimes I get a bit stressed in airports like sprinting from one terminal to the other which is fine like get your steps in but it's really nice this is a really nice leisurely airport I'm that person who likes to get to the airport early so I can spend more time here shopping have to have big food before I fly and Matt is very much he likes to just get to the airport and just get on the plane but I am very much a person that likes to be there three hours early really enjoy the shops comment below and let me know are you an airport rusher or an airport enjoyer because I'm going to make you all airport enjoyers right let's go to Ted Baker I used to have one of these bags when I was in high school they are such good little bags I actually got my grandma one well. this is a perfect little bag for like a trip to Paris isn't it it's so cute with these little bows but also I get makeup over everything I love from white to these blue soft tip that's the my Gucci which is going to get a bit ruined because it's suede not suede it's velvet but yeah, this is a lot better. It's more life well. I'm gonna skip my breaks. This would be so nice for Paris in the spring. Just sat by the Eiffel Tower having a picnic. Now I really want some bread. Some nice and fresh to get. How lovely and floaty is this? Oh my gosh, I just realised. This is like a nice cat pan. It's so stunning. I love that. I've just seen the coolest suitcase ever for a little weekend trip. See you guys, you don't even need to come with an empty bag, you can get the empty bag here. How beautiful is this for like a date night in Paris? I love the rose gold detailing, matches my nails as well. It's so cute, again with the little bows. I love the inside of it, I just love how Ted Baker's all nice and rose gold. Oh my goodness, my dream Paris dress. How nice is that? Mum, you are going to love this. Is this or is this not the most perfect Paris dress? How nice is that? I know, I think you've made me really like Ted Baker. I believe you, my husband's soft head. It's really good for spring and I was saying like for Paris. I love Paris because you can wear like cute little neutral kind of colours. Yeah, very flowing and matting. This is my mum's top pit. I don't actually know where she is. She's going running around the shop looking stuff. <laughs> but this is her top pit. She was like, I really want that wow. Maybe I have to treat her to it. It's very nice. Look how nice these dresses are if you had like a fancy dinner in Paris. So lovely. This is getting me really excited. This is cute. Look at that. Oh, look at that top. I'd love this with a little skirt. And I'd love that shirt. I know, I said it's your favourite shirt. So pretty, yeah. So nice one here. Stunning. I always love seeing how much cheaper stuff is in the airport. But these are so nice. I love these. I'm gonna try some of these on. These are so lovely. I love like spring sandals. Actually, these could definitely work for both Dubai and Paris. And it's the colour in tan. Let's try some on. Look at the shoes. Obviously ignore my feet because I don't have the prettiest feet. But how nice are these shoes? I love like lifted up sandals with a chunky heel for city breaks because I feel like otherwise my feet really hurt. But I still want to be a bit elevated because I'm very small. So yeah. What do you guys think? Are they a bit kitten heelish? Thing is, this is to walk around Paris, so like I need to look nice, have a bit of height, and be comfortable as well. And if you guys have seen all of my videos, you'll know that my beige heel boots that I wear like every day, they're Ted Baker, and they are the most comfortable but flattering shoes ever. So I very much approve of Ted Baker for shoes. Top tip for a city break, get good shoes. So, we are going shoe shopping now. We're going to June, London, which is one of my favorite little shops for some shoes. Pick up some shoes for a nice Parisian trip. What to get? Something with a nice chunky heel. 
Oh my god, they sell Steve Madden in here. I love Steve Madden. I mean, I would definitely not wear these on a trip to Paris because I would break my ankles. Maybe for dinner, actually. I used to wear such high stilettos. Um, definitely can't do that anymore. Look at these, so nice, glam. These would be the perfect shoes for like a Parisian weekend. Kind of look like Gucci, don't they? They're really classy, really nice neutral tones and you could definitely walk in them because they're comfortable. I also love these, but my whole wardrobe is leopard print, so I don't think leopard print shoes would work for me. These are kind of similar to the Ted Baker ones. I think these could be really nice for a Parisian trip because they've got a chunky heel, but they're still nice and let your feet breathe. Um, but you still got a little bit of height. Oh my goodness, I love these ones. Love the colour. How nice. Ooh. Oh, I'm such a sucker for sandals, but the problem is I just can't actually walk in them on like long walks. One thing I can't live without on my travels is trainers. I have a pair of Adidas trainers that I've actually battered. I actually had to buy a pair in New York once because I battered them so much. And June have loads and loads of trainers. So you could, if you're gonna be running around Paris, just get some really nice trainers. They've got so many nice trainers. They're kind of Gucci esque, aren't they? How nice are they? I just think nice trainers look so good with every outfit and a really good like city breaks as well. Oh hey, so yeah, I really like these ones because, well not only do they go with my leopard print trousers, I love that it's like a chunky heel but it's not too kitten heelish. Look, I'm just filming this in an airport. Yeah, um, they're not, they're really nice and chunky so they're good to walk in, but it's not too kitten heel so they still look really smart and classy and also I love a pointed toe because I just think it gives that like really nice kind of classy Parisian look with no matter what you wear it with. I think it looks really good with wide leg trousers how nice are these? So yeah, we're on to a winner with these ones. Okay, so the second pair I've chosen to try on is these ones. Literally look at me squatting in an airport. This is what we do for shoes. What would Cinderella do? Um, I love the colour of these. They actually match my nail varnish. And again, I think they're really nice because they're chunky, but you could wear them for dinner. You could wear these in the day and for dinner. And look at the contrast between the colour of my feet and the colour of my hands. But I think the colour of these is really nice. Perfect for a little Parisian day to night look. And I love my day to night. Guys, I'm going to World Beauty Free, one of my favourite shops. As you guys know, if you watch any of my travel vlogs, I always get a facial before flying. Have done for years. And I'm now going to go and find some sunglasses. I always buy my sunglasses from World Beauty Free, so it makes sense that I would get sunglasses for my Paris trip from World Beauty Free. Uh, let's go. I'm going to try some different sunglasses that I wouldn't ordinarily try. So I want you guys to come and I'm going to quick fire try those on. Tell me which your favourite ones are. I never know which sunglasses suit my face, so I always come into World Duty Street and just try those. So let's see. Matches my jacket. I would never go for things unless I like them. Big this is Anne. We're going for that screen, guys. embarrassed to say I pretty much have like 15 pairs of Ray-Bans already so every time I come to the airport it's like which new pair of Ray-Bans should I try but in my defense I share them with that. I know I have a lot of round Ray-Bans but they do them in so many different colors I have like some blue ones some black ones some pink ones and I always like to try different ones so let's try some different ones I always go for round sunglasses every time my mom doesn't like them on me but I think that they suit my face the best oh there's more Ray-Bans behind Ray-Bans everywhere 
secret. This is I love black ones, I think they look cool. So, a fun game to play in World Duty Free. You either spray the perfume and see which ones you love or hate, or try the worst glasses on. They actually usually look good. And you know what's funny? Adam always says to me that I always wear sunglasses on my Instagram. She does, she does, he, honestly. He once went through my Instagram and was like, let's try to find a picture where A, you're not looking down, or B, you're not wearing I'd sunglasses. I'd say 90% of the photos she's wearing sunglasses, honestly. <laughs> so, oh, okay. trying to actively not wear them, right? Okay, <laughs> you try some, you love brave and Pick me some you're... really bad ones. No, because they're okay. Oh, what about these? I think they're the worst ones, but I still think they're probably quite nice. Hey, you pull it off. Yeah, like, like ski one. Like if you go like ski one. <laughs> but if you were going to Paris on a weekend trip, which ones would you wear? Um, Why don't you try these? Oh, these are cool. These are really cool. Oh, I don't think the suit is going to. Try them. You don't know unless you try. They're cool, guys. Scores on the door. Oh, well, they're not too bad, actually. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> What about you? Let's get you some. I just I want to try these ones behind. Actually, I've not tried yeah. those ones. These ones. This is a pair of Ray Bans that I don't have. I literally collect Ray Bans. I know it's bad. Some of these make me look like I've got a mono brow in pictures. <laughs> yeah, <it's good> <laughs> mono brow. <laughs> I know. Pulling away from the fight. of the day well not the best because I like shopping but you guys know I really like shopping and I really like food where did you say you want to go for food Leon, I introduced <laughs> Adam to Leon on one of your first trips to London like years ago I think it was in like King's Cross Station so. and I was like what do you mean you've not tried Leon baked fries and he was like what are Leon baked fries the best thing ever and <laughs> one of the other really good things about coming to London Stansted they have a Leon I've never been to an airport with a Leon before apart from this one all the more reason to fly from here well you know baked fries baked fries fries from Leon on the flight so yeah we're gonna go and have some food because we've done a lot of shopping I've been dragging this one around seeing as Matt can't come and be dragged around today yeah. and then I have a trip to Dubai coming up we're gonna shop for that so I know you guys probably have some amazing summer trips coming up hopefully it will give you some inspo of what to wear or what to shop for if you are coming to the airport and looking for some outfits for a nice uh, very summery break they actually fly direct from London Stansted with an Emirates flight we might actually catch it when we're um, walking around today. I think it gets in about 10 past two, 20 past two. <laughs> Wishing we were on that flight today. Same, I, know. I know, how amazing. But first, we eat. You've got to fuel that body for all that shopping. They've got bacon. <laughs> I always get the better brownie for Matt to take away. Living his best life, what did you get to eat? Sausage. At least I feed you if you come shopping with me. And then Mama Shell sat up there with her chili con carne. She's like, don't film me when I'm eating. Uh -huh. No one wants to be filmed when they're stuffing their faces, do they? This is a very good juice. Nice and full now. My third and final challenge is packing a suitcase for a trip to Dubai. So somewhere nice and sunny. And as you guys know, I love sunny trips. I have a hashtag on Instagram, hashtag mtalkstravels. They see me going abroad. So this works perfectly. Dubai is top of my hit list and somewhere I really want to go. So let's see what I can get for the Dubai trip around the airport. I'm going to head into Access Price first so I'm looking for some like nice shell jewellery. More sunglasses. Yeah, I can get away with these at the back. <laughs> I've always wanted love heart sunglasses but I've never known where to get them from. Yes or no guys. This is such a nice top, a nice floaty little top. Perfect for the beach. Dubai is quite glam, so I feel like these would be such nice sandals. I always go into access fries and get stuff for going on holiday. But then again, I quite like these because they're a bit muted. But they're just a bit nice to throw on. But I feel like for Dubai, you'd more go for stuff like this. These would actually be nice for the Paris trip, wouldn't they? I feel like they're gorgeous. I can't reach it, but I really enjoy this little bag up here. Coachella vibes, actually. Look how nice this is. I love the colour. Good for nice, humid Dubai weather. I love all of these. So cute, such a good range of stuff. 
I don't think people quite realise how much good stuff there's in airports. Well, I'm sure you guys do, but some people just don't realise. And there's so many good shops in London Centre. I can't pull these off. I cannot pull caps off. Like, at all. I actually look like an idiot. I salute the people that can pull them off without looking like a total idiot. This is nice. I am a fan of the cap can, although I actually prefer this one. I love corals. This is stunning. Look how nice that is. How lovely. I really wish I could pull these hats off. This is actually very like Paris as well, isn't it? You get stuff for Paris and for Dubai. Um, but I just don't really pull hats off. But I'll try this one anyway and show you in case you do. But I can just have longer hair and then I pull them off more. I'm just not a hat person. But I need to protect my scalp when I'm abroad. Oh, they've got bags here. Should we try some bags? I love me a wooden bag. I think this is cute so I like a little yeah. side bag. Yep, oh, you know wow. for Dubai I to have like the side, side of your body. Or even in Paris because Let's you can just have a look kind of like your phone. Yeah, you, you can, can get quite camera in there. I think a side mm. bag is essential for a trip. I was saying, I wish these hats suited me, but I actually look like an idiot. I think it's because my hair is not long enough. I think I probably look like an idiot. It's really pretty actually. I like this, but I don't know how I use what this one. Mm. I just think it's like, um, it does suit you a little. I think the one with the long strap in the bag is better just from a practical point of view. Because you can, like, you could throw it over your body. Fine, yeah. I find that when I'm traveling, I want a bag that can take me from day to night so I could like yeah. go and do some sightseeing in the day with a bag Definitely. like this, fill it with all of my essentials, my camera and everything. But then if I want to go for a nice drink after I can. I do love this, but it's not very versatile, is it? I like the look of it, but handle-wise, it's not ideal. This one would be a nice beach bag, wouldn't it? That's better, yeah. Cute for a beach bag. Very nice for a beach bag. We always share beach bags, don't we? We do indeed. Let's go look for some jewellery now, because I'm looking for some shell stuff that I think I might have in here. Okay, they don't actually have the shell stuff, but they do have some really nice older jewellery. I love these earrings. Cute, they're like really nice jewellery. Yeah. So I've actually never shopped in Fat Face and we just thought we'd come and see what they have. Look how nice this little thing of this dress. See, this is why you should try these places because this is so cute. I love Dungarees for trip. Totally going off the tangent of Dubai because everything's Parisian and got themed as well. This is very cute. I love this. I love how it's like tucked in and I love the colour. So I'm going to end this challenge back in Ted Baker because I feel like they had some really nice Dubai style outfits. Everything in here is so nice for like holidays isn't it? But it's so Dubai style. I love this for Dubai and look at this bikini. Ted Baker bikini is really nice. See mum loves it too. Mum's got her eye on it. She didn't sound very enthusiastic but she was. This is very cute. Again, this is more Paris. Why am I choosing the wrong things? I feel like this could be really nice with killer heels. Look at the leopard print. I've never seen black leopard print on like a night out in Dubai. How nice. We just come over, just finished shopping, finished eating, just although my grab a jar and the juice because they have a jar and the juice in the airport. How amazing is that? I first introduced my brother to jar and the juice, constantly introducing him to things. Leon, jar and the juice in New York and he loves it. And I have one in this airport. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'll leave links to anything below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me. Let me know if you want more videos like this where it's like a full day with me and the fam. Yo. Adam. Mama. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching guys. Come to here on Instagram. Oh, what's your Instagram? Give me a cheeky plug. At Sheldon. At Sheldon. I'm at M Shalax. Bye guys.